You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Today I have a familiar face once a year. Yeah, I know. We get to check in. Elizabeth Creed Joyce. Joyce. Yes, that's I gotta correct. I got to get the Creed in there. Yeah, no, it's important. Okay. It's the connection. <laughs> okay, and we have an, a great annual event, the yeah. seventh mm -hmm. annual Mark Creeden Memorial Run slash Walk. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you don't have to just run, you can walk. No, it's nice to have the two options. I can't believe it's seven years. All I right. know. I, well, you know, it's actually six years, um, right. but we just did it the first year, um, which always catches me off guard. Um, but it's a big year. Um, this would be Mark's 40th birthday, mm -hmm. um, so it's a big celebration here for us. Um, and... You know, seven years in here, it, I'm so glad that we're still doing this. I'm so glad that this is still happening and that we still have this really wonderful way to celebrate him every year and get everyone out and get everyone together. Um, so we're really excited. Well, you kind of kick off road race season, if you yeah. think about it. There's a whole bunch of them, mm -hmm. and this is the one that starts it, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. we, get all, we start the month of April. We know that this is going to be first. April 1st is, but you don't want to do anything on April Fool's Day. No, April no, Fool's no, it would be far is, too tricky. Is, is, you know, people might not think it's actually happening exactly. or something like exactly. that. Exactly, exactly. Just kidding, I'm not going to run today. No, so we are, it's, it's being done at DW Field mm -hmm. Park, the mm -hmm. Brockton Jewel, yep. the Crown Jewel. Um, get to go to the Oak Street entrance, mm -hmm. which uh, is near the golf course. Yes. Mm -hmm. And across the street from, it's, it's Fisher College now, but I knew it as Parkway. Mm -hmm. Okay, the restaurant, especially mm -hmm. the sugar cone, which it has been delicious. gone, gone mm -hmm. for years. Mm -hmm. Saturday, April 8th, mm -hmm. 10. 10 a.m., yes. Is the start. Is the start. So um, before 10, what happens? Uh, so you could register online still, um, mm -hmm. uh, pre-registration online at uh, Um but We'll be open until Thursday night, and it's always helpful to pre-register because that way you can just show up to race day, say, my number is 264, get your stuff and go. Um, but if you like to register race day, we will be up there at 8 a.m. You mm -hmm. can come on up, sign up, and uh, join us for a run or a walk. The run is professionally timed. It's a 3.5-mile run, very competitive. There are prizes in the different age divisions. Um, and the walk is a beautiful 2.2-mile walk. Um, we have lots of families that come out for it. Um, I know I'm always looking for things to do with my little one on a Saturday. You want to get out of the house, get some fresh air. It's a great place to go and to do that. And a lot of the kids come out, I feel like they're like running the 2.2. They're really involved in what's happening. Well, they're used to that area because Dave Gorman does such a good job with the road races yep. for years and years and years. That's yep. the road race. The 2.2 walk is the course for the kids' road races. Right. And the kids under 10 are free. Are free, yeah. So they can just come join us for fun, bring all of them. You know? Strollers, no age limits no. on either end. No, there's no right? age limits so on either end. We want everyone. We want you there. Okay. Or run it. Come, or on run in. it. come on and join us. True. Now, special affinity for Cardinal Spell. For perhaps. sure, yes. So my brother um, is a lifelong um, Brocktonian. He went to St. Casimir's, which is now kind of combined into Trinity Catholic. Um, and then he's a graduate of Cardinal Spellman. So when we established the scholarship, we um, naturally wanted to, it to connect back to Mark. So the scholarship, the main scholarship goes to a student at Cardinal Spellman High School. And we also have scholarships that are connected to Trinity Catholic and um, UMass uh, Law, where he went to. He posthumously received his degree um, oh, I didn't from know there. That. Yeah. I was just at a degree ceremony, not a degree ceremony last night. My wife had an uncle who was at Suffolk. Oh, very and he nice. He died before he finished. He had a 4.0. Mm -hmm. He was very mm -hmm. promising. Mm -hmm. So they set up a scholarship. Didn't get to meet the student mm -hmm. last night. Mm -hmm. She didn't make it. Mm -hmm. But what a wonderful ceremony. So it's yeah. great to turn something sad into something really good to help other people. For sure, and I mean, we've been able to help so many people. Um, I, you know, in my notes here, we've um, given out over $85,000 in scholarships. We've given over 25 scholarships in his name at those uh, various alma maters, um, which is amazing. His life has continued to impact, and it will continue to year after year. Um, and the more people that come out, the more we're allowed to give out. You know, our scholarship is 100% dependent on how this race goes. So the more people that show up, the more people that we can end up helping in the end. So, you know, come on out and join us. And the nice thing is, a lot of times with charities and things like that, money goes into running the charity. Right, this right, is all right. family running yeah. it. So the, no, no our, expenses, no overhead, no, no staff. We just Everybody, give it right back. It's and us. And the whole Creedon clan is in this, for right? For sure, for sure. We all have two jobs from the month of January to April. Okay, okay. <laughs> um, so the number pickup is in that horseshoe parking lot? Mm -hmm. right, right at past, the top, past Tower Hill. Okay. Mm -hmm. And um, his quote down the bottom. Sprint to the finish. Okay. My brother um, 
was a very funny one to run with because he liked, he, I mean, he could run at whatever pace he wanted to, but he always wanted to sprint it out at the end. He always wanted to jam it down at the end. And that's great. I think that that's a great way to take on life. Like you want to, you, you want to finish like you're always winning. And it's important to kind of have that mentality because it pushes you through hard things. Um, and that, that's kind of what's pushed us through this hard thing. When things were at their absolute worst, we were like, well, let's go out and do something about it. And the thing that we have done has created this really amazing legacy for Mark. And it's allowed us to talk about him all the time. Mm -hmm. I mean, I talk about Mark with strangers, with people that I work with, um, new folks that I meet. They see my Facebook page. And all of a sudden, I'm having a conversation about my brother that wouldn't otherwise be able to happen. And that's really special. Now, I've known you for a while. I, I don't want to age myself any more <laughs> than I already am. But you got a great smile. Uh, it, he did. Yeah. He had a really good sense of humor. I remember that the most mm -hmm. about him yeah. because he always had a joke or always had a story. Yeah. I, I, that does run in the Creedon family. For sure. I, mean, For sure. I know all your uncles are storytellers uh -huh. and everything. So what, what's the expectation for number of runners, number of people you have goals? Um, yeah, I mean, I guess I always shoot, I always shoot for, um, we have 250 t-shirts, and so I always want to hit 250. The first 250 registrants get shirts. Mm -hmm. um, to note, we've already surpassed that number, um, but still come out. There may be more shirts, um, but still come out because we always shoot for, I don't know, 300, 400. It totally depends on the day. I mean, I'm a lifelong runner, so I've been doing road races. I've run marathons. I understand that race day is completely dependent on the weather. So we always shoot for these beautiful days, and I know we could have 600 people. And on the colder days, I know we'll have our 250 that uh, that, that are coming in to support us every year. Now, I know you went over the, the website, yes. www.markcreedon, C-R-E-E-D-O-N. Mm -hmm memorialrace.org. Mm -hmm. You have a Facebook too, correct? We do. We're also on Facebook and um, through the, we also, RaceWire is how we do all of our registrations. You can end up sharing your registration to share it with your friends because getting your friends out to come and join us, it's just such a fun day. Um, and I mean, it's just nice to be active. And then the best part of being active is if you are active and you do a fun activity, you're maybe like sweating a little bit, then you can go out for a party afterwards. Mm -hmm. And there is an after party at uh, Doyle's, the sideline um, Doyle's, and there'll be refreshments, there will be food, there will be music, it's a lot of fun. Oh, and there are raffles. There are Red Sox tickets, there's a beautiful birdhouse, there's a lot of amazing things to come out for, and I don't know what else you're doing on a Saturday, but it sounds like a good day to me. Saturday, that day's a busy day, like I told you. But, <laughs> but not you, you till later. A, no, not till later. There's this a, is a the, morning uh, activity. Haitian Community Partners has this great event that night, mm -hmm. seven o'clock. It That's might okay. not even start both. till eight. You can, you do, can both. do both. Just take a rest in between and have a little party. Exactly. And uh, there's something else. There's always something. April starts our busy season. Yeah. We're done with all our sports, mm -hmm. but then we get into other sports mm -hmm. and great community events, all the graduations, yeah. everything like that. Um, anything you want to do to sell it any more than you already have, you can look right into the audience. And yeah, talk. just come out and join us. It's a lot of fun. Um, uh, they, it's Like I said, it's a competitive race. It's professionally timed. If you're a major runner, get out and join us. There are prizes. Um, if you are just somebody who wants to come out and enjoy, enjoy DW Field Park, if you haven't been out there and you live in Brockton, you should definitely come and check it out. Um, or if you're just looking for something to do with your kids on a Saturday, because that's often what I'm doing. Um, so I would get out and have some fun, get some fresh air, have a coffee and a donut, enjoy a little, str a little stroll, and then head over to Doyle's for, you know, Perfect. some raffles and drinks. Perfect. Yeah. So we'll see everybody there. April um, 8th. April 8th. Uh, last time, www.markcredenmemorialrace.org. Really inexpensive registration fee, and it all goes to a good cause. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you so much. Not? Thank you so much. Okay. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.